Hello, my name is Dr. Dom Buford, and the title of this short demonstration is MSK Ultrasound Diagnosis of Partial Thickness Rotator Cuff Tears, the Dynamic Resisted Abduction Stress Test. This is part of our ongoing educational efforts that are part of our biannual ultrasound training course that we hold in Las Vegas at the Cosmopolitan Hotel in January and July of each year. For more information on our MSK Ultrasound and Orthobiologics training courses, you can go to the website listed at the bottom of this slide. One of the nice things about MSK Ultrasound as an imaging modality is that it lends itself to side-to-side -to -side comparison. For difficult diagnoses like partial thickness rotator cuff tears, we often examine both shoulders. In this patient, this is the left asymptomatic normal supraspinatus tendon. You note that with resisted abduction, the tendon and humeral head don't move and there is no increased fluid pumped out into the subacromial space with resisted abduction. Here is the abnormal symptomatic right supraspinatus tendon. At the tip of the blue arrow, you can see that with resisted abduction, there is a significant increase in fluid in the subacromial space. This fluid is being pumped out from the joint out into the subacromial space through this non-displaced full thickness rotator cuff tear. There is also a break in the cortical margin or the rotator cuff footprint at the tip or in the region of the red arrow. Often these cortical breaks are indicative of partial thickness cuff tears or these non-displaced full thickness tears as demonstrated here. So again, thanks for having a look. This is just a teaser for our course that's upcoming in July. We have 75 spots and we pride ourselves on a highly trained and very practical faculty with plenty of hands-on ultrasound time uh, both days of the course. Thank you.